Hello? Hello? Hello everyone, Enies20, and uh, today is, what is today, September 17th, 2019. I have not streamed since, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess since Hysteria ended, because when I opened up my Twitch channel, it was like, hey, Hysteria was a thing, remember that? And I'm like, yeah, I remember that, that dedicated like two months of my life or something. Anyway. Uh, it's 10 a.m. now, according to the Switch, and I just, I was playing some Astral Chain. I beat the game a, f uh, a few days ago, and I've just been replaying the old files, doing better. And then I thought, hey, why don't I just, uh, record today? Because, like, I'm home alone, it's quiet, hopefully they don't start, like, mowing outside or anything. Um, and I was like, alright, sure, that's what I'll do. Anyway, so I don't have anyone here to help me with the volume, so hopefully it's uh, bearable. Um, okay, like I don't, I don't, I hope that it's it's fine. I think it'll be good. I'm gonna be here for I don't know how long, cause I got a ton of games that I'm playing, but uh, I, I like Astral Chain. It's good. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Let's uh, go into it and see if I can. I left off like. In the middle of entering the uh, the mall, I was gonna say the Ark. You play on the Ark, the mall, the mall on the Ark, the Ark Mall. Here we go. Unpause. Entrance hall clear. Nothing to report. Main plaza, Main plaza clear. Nothing on our biosensors. Bio I think it's funny. This game, the text goes automatically. First floor, all clear. Like when the characters uh, reach the end of what they're saying. Roger that. Or you can hit A to automatically fill up with the rest of the text. And then you can proceed whenever you want. Roger that. We're going in. It's it's funny because uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses is the opposite. Like the text there goes normally and then you can or you can hit a button to make it go automatically. There's nobody here but a lot of Something I've never seen before. Some kind of goop. This is HQ. Roger that, Jen. Keep going. Keep your distance from anything you don't recognize. It could be dangerous. Focus on finding Jenna. Roger. All right, let's go. Okay, this place gives me the creeps. I think a terrorist tied up would be, you know, a little livelier. 
What, a mall full of mystery goop not exciting enough for you? Stay frosty. Iris, start up. So of course, because I beat the game already, I have access to all the legions, even though at this point in the story you should only have two. And you should have the, the sword, which you start with, and the arrow, which you get really early. But I got them all. And it's, of course, so that I can do all the stuff that I couldn't do the first time around. Gosh, the iris reminds me a lot of like detective mode in Batman because of like the the filter it applies to everything, and it annoys me because like it's it's really handy to use it all the time to have it on constantly, but then it makes the game like two tone and like it takes away all the colors so. cornered but let me assure you you're here because I want you to be this is all according to plan your master's done as he pleases for long enough our master I still have a few more preparations to make but don't worry I prepared entertainment after all what kind of hostess keeps her guests waiting HQ, we found the suspect. She's making a run for it. We're on her tail. Are we? Jin, hold up there. I'm going down to help her. Jin is arrest is your top priority. Huh? Roger that. I'm telling the suspect. Eyes open. Yeah, so now the music kicks on. It's uh, probably the first track in the game that I was like, oh, this is really good. Not that the music in the game hasn't been good, but you know, there's always that standout track. And I think this is it. I really enjoy it. All right, you. These things are like rare enemies. They appear in every... Oh, there we go. They appear in every chapter and they're really hard to track down and kill. Um, like, I got that one really easily, I think, because I'm really powerful. But normally they take a beating. And also, they are, they're really fast, they move around the field, and then they just decide to run away forever. And then, uh, and then they disappear after a while, and you miss your chance to catch them. As you saw, I got, I don't know if you saw, the little thing popped up in the corner, it's like, order complete. It's like, I guess the achievements of the game kind of thing. And uh, there's one for killing that golden slime in every single level that he's in. Which is every thing in, I think except for the first level of the game. I don't know how many I've killed, but definitely not. Oh my gosh, a cat! I was about to say, I need to find the cat in this in this level. And there he is. Do you have a name? I did not see that coming. I I have achieved greatness. So yeah, alright then. Let's uh pick this guy up. 
Alex, you've adopted a cat. Say hello to Bran. Hi, Bran. I was literally about to say, all right, uh, now let's keep an ear out for cat meows, because I also need to find all the cats in the chapters as I replay them. Turns out I didn't have to, the cat was right there. Oh Jesus. These must be the tentacles we heard about. Uh, so the rumors were true. Are they Jenna's too? We'll know for sure when we get her back to the station. Uh, let's hurry up and catch her. Jeez. Anything to get away from that stink. Iris, shut down. Really is unfortunate that the rumors are right about the tentacles, like of all things. I really hate these things. I mean, well, not these ones. There's another version of them that doesn't uh, pop up beforehand. It, they, they like to pop up under you, and it it's, uh, drives me crazy. Because they caught me, like, every single time. Yeah, music's really good here. I really like it. There was a, uh... I guess it's not really a spoiler. It might be, but... It's not like a huge story thing. Uh, Astral Chain does something that I wish more games kind of did. It doesn't do it to the extent that I was hoping it would. Um, but it, but, but enough that it, it, like I appreciate it. And that's that when you beat the game, you can actually keep playing. And it like it doesn't reset you to like before the final boss. It like puts you in a new scenario where the world is saved, basically, kind of thing. And you can just keep going around solving cases and just being a good guy, basically. Oh hey, I found the toilet too. I looked at the map and I saw a little thing on the side, and I was like, oh, I could probably use that. So that's all three collectibles I needed in this level. I found the slime, I killed the slime, I found the cat, I found the toilet. Uh, there is a picture left that I need, to, there, I need to take a specific picture in this level, but that would be easy. Because I know what it is now, so I don't... I never took a picture of these things? Poison tentacle. Oh, clever. You know what's one of my least favorite things that happened? I screwed up and I did not take a picture of the final boss. I mean, I did. When I first fought the final boss, I took a picture of all the final boss's forms so I could get them logged into the enemy log. But then I died, I gamed over, and they reset me to the beginning of the fight. And I was like, does that still count my picture that I took of him? I don't know. And so when I got to the final phase, I took out the camera to take a picture of him, and it was like brand new. And I'm like, no, I took the picture of him already. No. So I, I missed one of the phases of the final boss because I wasn't sure. So I, I mean, I have to play the level again anyway, so I guess I'll get it then. Wait. Or are you- please tell me that didn't just happen. Oh no.
Oh, I... Can I... Uh, this game doesn't have any checkpoints. Can I, like, reset from a checkpoint or something? Oh, I can't. Can I? Oh, I can. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. It's like eight minutes ago. So, do I have to redo everything I just did on stream? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, not everything, but... Where'd it go? Did it just escape? I still have the order complete, right? No, I do not. Alright, then we gotta load again. Gosh, I did. I was doing so well. I, I guess you couldn't read it, but one of the orders that I just mentioned, I need to take a picture of specific things. And one order is like, take a picture of Avery in a sticky situation. That was Avery. I was supposed to take a picture of Avery while he was or she was being held by the tentacle. And of course I didn't as evident by the fact that I didn't. There we go. Okay, now I got it. Gosh, I'm mad. I'm mad that I have to do this again. I didn't- I didn't even mean to attack the one that was holding Avery, the tentacle. I was gonna shoot the big one on the side, but... I auto-aimed at it. Oh, okay, I got the slime. So, I, I, know, I know the cat's back here. Uh... Bran, I'll rescue him again. I know where the toilet is. The biggest thing I gotta look out for, uh, not just here, but I'm trying to get more premium material codes. They're, I guess, the most high value of the material codes, and I need them to uh, uh, Im improve my my lesions in order to make them stronger, basically. Like they have like uh, they have what's it called? What's it called? Like level up charts? I don't know what you call those. You know, the grids or whatever. Gosh, what is the term for them? Uh, but they all the legions have those, and right now I need to unlock nodes on them. And in order to do that, I need I need uh, premium material codes. It's like the equivalent of needing like those key spheres on the Final Fantasy X sphere grid. Another, actually, another really nice thing I like about Astral Chain is like you see all that red matter everywhere that I'm cleaning up. You don't actually need to clean it up. Like you don't need to clean up 100% of it to get like the reward. You just need to clean up 80. 
which is really good because it's it's a little too difficult to get a hundred because like you could just miss a tiny little bit of it like a very small chunk of it and then you're screwed forever like you could be as thorough as you are but i've beaten multiple levels with 99 percent clear rate of the of the slime of the of the matter and there's nothing you can do about it And it drives me crazy, but, I mean... Okay, here we are again. Okay, so like, a, a little case opened up here where the rest of the, my squad who came into the mall with me is being tortured by those stupid tentacles. So I gotta save them, because of course, I'm the main character. I mentioned it a few times, like, online, but never, obviously, any public manner, but... I should get it. Yep, there we go. Got it. Just die, please. Avery. Everyone else is also being tortured by these stupid things. Luckily, I only need to take a picture of Avery. I can just rescue everyone else without having to worry about it. That one counts as a poison tentacle too. I mean, I guess it does. It's not giving me like the question mark to say that it's a new, a new thing. That's also something I'm not good at, that I've screwed up a ton in this game. There is a... There are these, um... Like, special places that it, you, if you take a camera out, you'll see that little yellow thing. It's for locations, basically. So this one's for the food court. I took a picture of the food court. Um, I don't... I miss... I have... That's the category in, like, my logs that I have the least in. Because I just, I don't do it. I only take pictures of enemies, and not even that well. Granted, uh, the enemy types in this game come in a few very distinct archetypes, like the fast one, the sword and shield guys, uh, the serpents, the, she the shells, this and that. And they're just like the colors make them different or the uh, Or their elemental attributes make them different. It's not like incredibly obvious in most cases Like seriously, there's uh... It's just, it's really hard to tell from afar in most cases and I just wind up having to... Guess. 
And so now, because I've already beaten the game, in every enemy encounter, I just take out my camera and I check all the enemies to see which ones are brand new and which ones I've already got. Yeah, in some, uh, in s there are those hidden dog items as well. Because if you have the iris on, uh, hidden dig spots look like this. Or dig spots look like this. But there are hidden ones, which, uh, don't come up on the iris. And instead, you need to do what I just did and look listen to the dog's meter. Um, I don't, I hate it because there's a, there's actually an order, an achievement to do that. Uh, for a certain amount of times, and it's like it's not really something I think about and want to do Because I, I imagine it's so easy to miss them I Found I think counting that one now three I I think the achievement requires eight or something Almost to 80. I forgot if I. I think I got the, uh, the like cleaning red matter thing in this level already, so I don't really need to worry about it too much. I know I definitely didn't get it in all. I didn't get it in the first level, and cleaning it up is like super easy in that one. But that's because I didn't know how to move the legion around yet. They hadn't really instructed me yet. You know how to do this. They might have, to be fair, they might have. I just wasn't paying attention. But I I didn't know. So what did that accomplish? Is that it? Huh. Because I remember when I first played this level, I couldn't get through there. I guess it was mo more, more likely what was in the chest was the reward. Jin and his old arm legion that's no longer friends with him. Also, I played like this entire game with Janix in the police outfit, which is what everyone else is wearing. Um, then I recolored hers to red and all that stuff. 
but I decided to try out the uh, the dress uniform because I think it's my favorite. You have a few other like a ballistic vest and heavy armor, but. Gosh, I love that thing. The, uh... First, Akira's Arrow Legion, and now the Arm Legion resurfaces. It appears they seek out their previous... Like, the, the little... the Iris voice that's, like, said announces the name of new enemy types as the encounter. Be sure to bring the Arm Legion back. You'll have to subdue it first, of course, but I don't imagine it's anything you can't handle. Guys, really, really kicking my ass. Seriously, I'm so sick of him grabbing me. Gosh, and the goop is really screwing up my flow. I don't think that was an S plus performance. I wish it was. But like, he kept beating me up in the beginning and I kept falling into the goop. Marvelous, marvelous work. <laughs> I almost envy your- hey, shut up, Yosef. Oh my gosh, you serious? A D? So if I load the game, how far back do I have to go? Oh, I... It just saved. Wow, that was really bad. Now I'm mad. I'm probably gonna have to redo this whole thing, if I'm being honest. Like, not on stream, I'll do it on my own time, because I'm really pissed off at how crappy I just did there. If I can at least manage to get some S's and S pluses on, on the rest of my battles, I think I'll be good. Up until the chapter ends. I'm almost done with the chapter, since I'm at like 80% of, uh... Yeah, I just hit it. No order popped up, so I guess that means I did do it before already. Thanks for getting me out of there. Granted, it's that Legion's fault I was under there in the first place. Akira went on ahead after Jenna. You'd better go too. Don't worry about me and Jin. We'll be fine. Go find Akira. <laughs> Iris, 
I gotta go help my brother because that's how the entire game goes. And if you play as a girl, I guess, I mean a guy, I guess you gotta have to help your sister the whole time. Honestly, I think I was gonna mention this before. I don't like the fact that your character's not voiced. It really annoys me. Like, that they never fucking talk. There's so many situations in this game where I'm like, okay, you absolutely should have talked here or said something. It just, it really, uh, it's not good. I'm not a big fan of silent protagonists much these days. Um, I feel like they do more harm than good on games that are trying to set up a universe and tell a story. Um, in the case of this game, I was like, there ha there were so many instances where I'm like, okay, all right, D she absolutely needs to say something right now. I mean, Jenna is basically the main villain of this game, and there's a point when you have a meeting with her in the astral plane and you're talking, and she's talking to you, but you have an exposition fairy with you, and he, like, directs the whole conversation, asks all the questions, and I'm like, no, that should be me. It, it, oh, I hate it. Like, she's talking to me about specific things, and, and then he's just stealing the whole conversation. Freaking, I hate it. I'm probably alone in that regard, but, or at least I'm probably in a minority, but it really does bother me. Oh, there we go. I was trying to catch him in the chain, but he wouldn't back up from the corner. That's not gonna give me a good raid either. Oh, it did. Okay, I'll take it. Still annoyed about that D. Granted, if I was, like, a designer choosing, like, the achievements for this game, I would've put an achievement that says, like, get 100% clear rate on any one chapter, you know? Like, not for every chapter, but just at least once. Because I don't think there is one, and I think that's a little odd. Oh, uh, not counting the first level of the game. given that there's, like, nothing in that level. See, there's one battle arena in that level that has all the red matter on it, and there's, like, eight bunches of it. So it's super easy to do it. Because, like, I did get a 100% in one chapter of playing the game. I don't remember which one. Or I called them chapters. They're called files. But same thing. Jenna. She's on the top floor. Some work 
called Azure Plaza. She's tough! Oh, wait! What the hell is that? What? What is it? Whatever it is, it's... It's... Absorbing chimeras. What? I see now. So we're just biding your time. The suspect is Jenna Anderson. Whatever she's planning, she must be stopped. If she won't come in peacefully, you have my authorization to stop her by whatever means necessary. Roger! What is this now? There's more? Did I miss you? Somehow? Alright, that's an S. It's not too bad, but uh... Yeah, I mean I have... Yeah, since I turned on the stream, I've been doing worse. Oh well. I mean, this chapter isn't that long. I honestly remember it being longer. Because, uh, like, it has a small section where you're in the city and you gotta do, like, some investigative stuff that's not all primarily fighting. But, uh, I got through that super quickly this time around. One of my favorite moments from this game, uh, story-wise, is that there's a chapter that is like all combat because like there's a gigantic incident happening and then when you complete it the next chapter it takes you back to the place you were just in except now you have to help with the cleanup and the peacekeeping like the aftermath and I'm like that's actually really cool I like that watch out she's She's not human! How sad. This is how you live. Following orders without question. Without thought. Where is she? Can you call yourselves human? Give yourself up. We'll talk about it back at the station. Maybe you're happy with your lot, but a word of advice. Give it up. Come along peacefully. Iris, your power is not the gift you think it is. One day, it will cost you everything. Yeah, it's just kind of tough. I do like how every time we're in a, situ a serious situation in a cutscene, uh, your character always whips out the Sword Legion. Because, uh, you know, that's the first Legion you have. Except for at the end of the game, they change it up there. Although I understand why they do. I was like, is that food? I don't got food coming. I, uh... No, it was a package. Seriously, I remember when they first announced this game, they're like, you pick one of the twins to play as, but the other twin plays a very important role in the story. And so when I first got to this file, I'm like, oh, by very important role in the story, you mean they die like four chapters in? That's not that important. But no. I mean, but between the twins, the one you don't play as, uh, the one that can actually talk, is just like a ton of bad shit happens to them.
All right, here we go. Humunculus Alpha. Neuron officers on the first floor. Akira needs immediate assistance. The auto defibrillator isn't working. It must have been damaged in the fall. Hurry! Akira's vitals are dropping. All of this is Alicia. I'm on my way, okay? But somebody's gotta come help Jin out of here. No, I'm fine. I'll manage on my own. Akira is in way worse shape than I am. Don't you dare let me slow you down. Can it with the heroics. Just sit tight where you are for a while. I'll be back for you once off your stable. I think I took a picture of this one already. I, I want to check, but like the combos aren't stopping. Yeah, I did. All right. Catch those arms again. I discovered I could do this very late in the game. Like for the bigger bosses, you can actually find parts of them. Yeah, the power of New Game Plus. I mean, it's not really New Game Plus, but it kind of is. I'm not supposed to have this for like five more chapters, but I have it now. Ah, oh, he- I didn't let me kill him with it. Alright, can you stop with the stupid beam? No? There we go. And now he's super freaking dead. How much did I get for that? Alright, finishing the chapter strong after that D performance. I'll take it. Let's see what my total score is. If I get at least an A, I'll be happy. Like, not, ec not ecstatic, but I'll be, I'll be, I'll be fine. Okay, yeah, we got an A. Yeah, I mean, look, it was obviously this C ruined everything. And then I missed the red case somewhere, apparently. Really? So, something interesting about this game that I actually like, uh, though it does bug me in situations like this, is that you, some cases are like secret, and it's kind of fun to find them. Uh, in, in in one of the later chapters in the game, when I turned on Iris mode, I saw a giant worm chimera in the ground just spinning down there, and I'm like, what are you doing down there? You can take the Beast Legion out, and it'll dig in under there, and it'll pull it up, 
and it'll initiate a cutscene, and then a new chat, a new like red case will begin, one that you were not given. And like, I like that kind of stuff. So I wonder where this one was. It was after I got the Arm Legion, but before the hallway. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely have to do this chapter again later because I need to S it. Also, I missed the keyword, really? That's interesting. I'm surprised, really. So, uh... Yeah, that was this one. Look how many pieces some of these chapters have, though. This one has the most, and I'm not surprised. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like this chapter. This one's with the uh, with the sneaking around. Um, th the only thing that makes this good is that once you get once you get to Zone 09 and you meet the hermits, that's when it gets better. Yeah, there it is. Right. Let's look at the final result. Alright, yeah, S S S A D B C A B A A. So if I want to improve it, I'll definitely have to do file five, six, seven, and nine to see if I could get them up to at least A status. But definitely file five. Why do I why do I suck so bad at file five? What was file five? Accord. A formal agreement between parties. Oh my gosh, I remember file five now. Yeah, that's the one where there's like an incident in the subway. Probably my least favorite part of the game. Not really. No more than the sneaking around. It's not good because it makes you. You have to find people in the subway, and then bring them back to the uh, to like a checkpoint where the police officers could take care of them. And you move like half speed when you're carrying them with you, and enemies spawn like crazy to just be assholes. It's, it drove me crazy. I hated it. Anyway, I cleared some orders, so let's take care of it. Hit rush master. Use hit rush the specified number of times. Good. A slime splatter. Defeat the rare chimera. Adopt the cat. Go to the bathroom. Get that funny photo. And then eat ice cream. Ooh, I have an I have some more uh, colors for my HUD. Which by the way I like I had this red for like almost the entire game. It was blue for like the beginning, but then I realized, oh, I can change the color and I made it red. And I just made it purple, like, not too long ago. A responsible color scheme for your HUD. A HUD color scheme with a certain je ne sais quoi. Wabi Sabi. A bluish gray color scheme. Green gray. Yeah, I think the one I have... Yeah, save. I used to have, a. Uh, Passionate Crimson? No, it was a... Uh... Was it Passionate Crimson? I guess, yeah. Yeah, it was. This was the one I used to have. And yeah, now I made it purple because I, I like it too. And look at Janix. Are you surprised that I had red for like the entire game? 
I don't really understand what the point of this is, to be honest. Like, you can perform lesion maintenance and clean them up, but I don't know, like, what it affects. As far as I'm aware, there's, like, no rating that your legions like you at all. I would like to think that you can develop a relationship with your legions, but I don't even know if you actually can. Like, the only reason they help you out is because they're tethered to you. Like, the second that they break out of their chain, they start trying to kill you. Like, I mean, the most meaningful thing that I think a legion ever does is at the end of the game. Um, and beyond that, they just kind of help you out with the specific moves that you can do. Yeah, and also, as you can see, obviously, I changed all their colors. Their normal colors are like a, a standard blue-themed police color scheme. Alright, there we go. So yeah, let me show you that thing I was talking about, the premium codes. It goes here for Legion learning. See, in order to learn unlock this node, I need two premium material codes. Or uh, for this one, I need four. And so those are the things that I really need to get. Increases the power to Sword Legion. Let's do that. So yeah, C9 minus, C7, C9, C8 plus, C8 plus. So yeah, the Sword Legion's obviously the highest, since he's at uh, C9. I think I should have like more files in the database now. Yep. The food court was added onto there. And subject logs. Yeah, nothing super crazy. I'm still curious as to what pe who am I missing in persons of interest? We're still missing three people. Two after Kyle but before this the drone. Who am I missing? Was there anyone of interest? Because, like, everybody of interest that's on here are cops. I took a picture of all the cops. Like, there's Akira. Who am I missing? I'm pretty sure I already took... I'm pretty sure Jenna's already on here. No, Jenna Anderson isn't on here. But like, how can you take a picture of like human Jenna? Because like otherwise she becomes a monster when she's Jenna aberrant. This one. So I don't know. I'm confused. So I I don't know who these last three people are. I imagine if I play as a male character, this will just swap, you know, to the girl, right? I don't think they would occupy two different slots. And if they did, I think they would be at the top. So I'm pretty sure this one should be Jenna. Because I can't think of anyone else that I'm missing. Oh well. Another job well done. I knew I could count on you. Okay. Oh, and we can go right back to the mall for another mission. Sure, let's do that. We got a lot of post-game stuff to do, as you can see. Like, all those new cases. And even then, there's uh, more than just that. Like, as you complete, you unlock more. A 
Apparently there are actually four cats to rescue in file 12, and I have no idea where they are. Like, because you can't actually explore places, you're like, put into little, uh, se small sections of levels that you do in the story, and then you need to... So, I mean, yeah, like, the, the, the post-game stuff just becomes, like, a bunch of, uh, battles, and that's totally fine, because, like, the combat system in this game is super fun. No, oh, that's not the one I wanted to use. I hate the tornadoes that they throw out. They're not fun to avoid, they stick around too long. Again? See, I'm not even kidding you. Like, how is that fun? And they're all dead? Okay, I, I thought they'd stick around a bit longer, I'm surprised. I like that they put these around, even if you don't really need to- you don't have, like, a clear rate in this, uh... I was wondering, like, why can't I dodge right because of this stupid frickin' goop? I 
I've taken a picture of you, I have. Yes, there are a lot of these guys. But I mean, that's that's how these that's how these missions go, anyway. It's just everywhere you look. Like seriously, I did one yesterday, and there were just a, an absurd amount of enemies. If I'm being honest. My biggest issue with the Axe Legion uh, is how slow he is. Like, he moves very slow compared to all the other ones. I mean, obviously, you see his gigantic weapon, it makes sense, but it bugs me. I think he learns uh, Speed Star, so I should probably just put that on him. In fact, since I got Hit Rush Master, I don't really need to have Hit Rush on my legions anymore. I should probably take those off, swap them with something better. Which there is an achievement for using every single skill that the legions have a certain amount of times, which is what I'm trying to do. Triple Sword, Speed Star, Hit Rush, Sint Keep. I think I got Auto Bind, Power Charge, and Air Shot. I don't think I have Speed Star, so I'll put that on here. Chain Drive. I don't think I have Chain Drive yet, or Howl. I'll put Howl on again. And Blue Shield and Crash Bomb. Alright. I mean, are the cats out in the field, or are they hiding somewhere in the in the base? Because there's four, according to the. Because uh... I think I was told that there are 70 uh, post-game missions that Olive can give you, and if there are four cats hidden among randomly those, the, all those, gosh, I'll never find them. Never say never, except that when it's never. Alright, so actually I need to go to the bathroom, because I can help the bathroom fairy now. Otherwise the toilet may be cursed forever. I mean, the things that you leave the toilets with as toilet paper is very worrisome. Like, one one toilet gives you sandpaper, and I'm like... Another job well... What is wrong with this game? I mean, it's Platinum Games. You know you know those guys are weird, right? I mean, of all things, the collectibles in this game are stray cats and toilets. Alright, now we're in Zone 09. Which is the rundown shithole.
Oh no. So those little clamshell enemies are the ones that make other enemies invincible. Unless you take them out first. Dealt with that crap. So let's use the beast. Because everybody else is sharing skills since I haven't unlocked any more unique skills to them. But the beast and the axe legions have unique skills completely. With howl and chain drive and then blue shield and crash bomb. Wow. Did I just wipe them all out at the same time? That was cool. I didn't even mean to do that. I think there's an achievement for killing, I think, three enemies at the same time a certain amount of times. So that probably gave me another tick on it. Now we're gonna finish this fight in the astro in the astro plane, huh? Oh, that's a new enemy. Typhoon, Typhoon. It's like Typhoon, but without all the O's that are necessary for Typhoon. I got quiet. They they did the thing that I hate that they do. That they mixed up all the stupid clamshell enemies with the other enemies.
There we go, that wasn't too bad. I just really don't like the freaking plant fell enemies. I don't even know if that's what you can call them, but that's what they are to me. They're annoying. They suck. My phone keeps freaking updating me. It gives me random freaking... What's the word? Uh... Like, Google gives me a bunch of headlines of stuff going on. This is an article from Buzz BuzzFeed, and I hate BuzzFeed. Sophie Turner's gonna be in a new TV show. Yeah, is she gonna ruin it like she did the last one? Oh, hey, it's Loon. She's watching. I just, uh, I just opened my Discord, and she's here. Saying that she's gonna get Astro Chain later today. Nice! Yeah, I'm just doing end game random cases. Just gonna be a bunch of fighting, really, which is totally fine because, like I said before, I don't know if you heard me say it, just the combat in this game is super fun. Another job well done. I knew I could count on you. Uh, I was already in Sector V. Do I want to go back there? Now nah, let's go to. Harmony Square instead. Because I can actually get some premium codes there. So you can see Cop Janix in her natural habitat. Like, the game starts out pretty slow, because, like, the meat of the combat only happens after... After the second chapter, I think? Like, where, where it actually, like, gets more in depth, and they give you more things to do, and obviously... As you play the game and get more legions, like, it becomes more fun, because then you have a whole bunch of different things you can do. But I mean, because I remember in, like, the first chapter, I was like, is this the whole game? Because, like, I, like, Platinum Games, I'm always used to them having a lot more complicated or dynamic battle systems and this one's like not like that so I was surprised but that's just because it was too soon and once I figured out how it's actually supposed to be I was like that's actually really cool A, literally a fight in Harmony Square, like just right in the middle, huh?
Go dog, go! Hear him roar! Gosh dang, they're just, oh, they're everywhere. They're like, it's like being in a cave with Zubats, it's so bad. Okay. Oh no, why? Why is this everything- oh my gosh, why is all- no, there's two of them! So the fire and ice titans, I remember these guys. I think you have to fight them both for like a side case, not even the story. Yeah, and I didn't take a picture of the fire one, so now I got it. The dog helped me a lot, but when it comes to the heavy weapons guys, the heavy weapon guy is probably the best way to counter them. Which makes sense. Oh my gosh. Chill out, Mr. Man. Oh, it's not over yet. What you guys what you guys got for me? What's next? Oh, it's the yellow one. Got him! Gosh, I feel so cool. Honestly, when you get this game's combat system down, you feel freaking awesome. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, that music's so good. The soundtrack for this game is pretty darn great. It's like it's just the perfect music to back up, like, serious ass whooping.
I didn't even see how long that took. Because, like, they give you a time at the end. So anyway, what's today? 9.17? Let me think. So, like, I'm looking ahead to the rest of the year to see how my schedule is going to be when it comes to gaming. And, uh... So, anyway, let's back up quickly. So... Astro Chain I finished. Uh, I'm playing a few Super Nintendo games. I'm playing Yoshi's Island and Breath of Fire on the side. Minecraft is whatever. I beat two of the routes in three houses. I'm well into Grandia. Uh, I don't know how much until I'm done though and I haven't even touched Grandia 2 yet. Smash is smash. YouTube is YouTube. I need to finish the Crash Story Mode at some point. At some point I'll do that. Tetris. I did like everything in Vesperia. The last thing I need to do with Vesperia is finish the bonus dungeon, which uh, shouldn't take too long. I literally completed this game. All the adventure maps are done. It's just, I nailed it. I beat Saints Row, Saints Row's good. Uh, a ukulele, I'm at the end of it. I don't want to finish it though, the final boss sucks. Mario Plus Rabbids, I beat it. That's also a super fun game. More people should pick up Mario Plus Rabbids, being super honest. Uh, Shovel Knight, I have already beaten all three campaigns multiple times on the Wii U. But on the Switch, I beat Shovel Knight and Plague Knight. I'm in the middle of my... No, Shovel Knight and Specter Knight in the middle of my Plague Knight run. I played Okami for a grand total of two hours. I have not gone back to it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should stream that. Uh, Dark Souls, I played it. For, I played it for a good. I played it. I played Dark Souls for a good bit. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever make any notable progress in it, though. Uh, it is tough. Uh, what was I playing on here? It was one of the Kirby games is on here that I was playing. Final Fantasy Nine. I left off in the middle of the equivalent of Disc Two. I'm in Kuja's Castle. Gosh, I really got to play more War Groove. It's fun. It's just, it's also hard. It's strategy, you know. And all this is finished. Let's see, I should, I should probably play some Okami. Yeah, so that's my, that's the status of my games very quickly. And then in a few in a few weeks, Code Vein's coming out on PS4, and I'm gonna pick that up like immediately. I already have it pre-ordered on Amazon. It'll be getting here day one. What's this? Police HQ. And then what's after Code Vein? In October, the Medieval Remaster's coming out apparently. Almost. Uh, to Halloween, so that'll be great. And then after Medieval, uh, there's nothing in November or December, so I'll be able to use that time to clear out the backlog. And then next year, we've got Tokyo Mirage Sessions Encore, Xenoblade Definitive, and... What else is there? There's something else next year, I'm pretty sure that I will- Oh my gosh. Seriously? They're gonna make me fight this guy? Alright, well, uh, screw whatever I was saying. This is honestly one of my favorite boss fights in the game, was against this one. Humunculus... Delta, I think, something like that. Alright, I need to break the armor on his feet first, before I can bind them.
Oh, and he summoned little guys. I like the camera being out though, it wasn't like- I don't think it was like that when I first fought him. I like having the zoomed out camera, it actually helps. Also the music is great. Find the other leg. Okay, now I can find the arms. Or no, I had to break them first. Okay, find the other leg. Back, doggy, be careful. He's a big, mean man. Yeah. Honestly. That was just as good as, like, the actual boss fight from the story. Like, I mean, I think the actual boss fight had more, like, obviously had more context, but that was... I love fighting that. I love fighting that guy. Speaking of, there's another humunculus between that one and the one I fought in the File 4 that actually has a really great boss fight, too. I wonder if they'll let me replay that one also. I hope they do. Can I... Can they let me refight Kyle? Kyle's my favorite boss in the whole game. Did I unlock more? My favorite thing about the fight against Kyle is the fact that his fucking name is Kyle. Cause like, as you can see, like... With the enemies, like, the big bosses, they get this thing where a computer comes and it's like, Lias. Or, uh... Eris. Pygmalion. Diomedes. Like, it says their names. And then when you fight Kyle, it just comes in as like, Kyle. And I just, it's so funny. Because all these other guys have like interesting like names derived from mythology and all that kind of crap and it's like really cool. Kalisto. But Kyle's just Kyle. Kotos. Gygus. I just can't get over it, it's so funny. Alright, let's do one more. Another job well done. The other astral plane one I did wasn't so great. 
It just drove me crazy. So hopefully this one's better, but we'll see. If they if they throw a bunch of those shell enemies at me, I'll be very upset. didn't even like chill at all it just like started immediately electric one again. I just fought you. Oh, flying enemies. Mm. If I could hit them with like my baton and my big sword, then they wouldn't be such a big deal. But they constantly stay out of range. Are you all dead? Okay, yeah. Goodness gracious.
gosh, I don't know what's happening. Alright, got rid of one of the birds. Oh, this one's big and green. I'm pretty sure I fought this one before too, I just don't remember. Like when exactly, I mean. And that bird is new. Or that flying enemy, not bird. Oh, Minotaur, right, yeah. I actually think this one's pretty early in the game, now that I think about it. Oh, that's it? That was actually really short. And they threw a lot of giant guys at me. Two at once, then another one, then another one, then another one. Crazy. I did well with the S rank though. Nailed it. Can I like update any of my lesions yet? Yeah, I can. Well, I have four. I can either use them on one or multiple. Let's just start with... yeah. Increases defense. I need four more for the last uh, ability for this man. Everybody else though? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll boost you guys up. I have to start with the beat, with the axe next time because he's pretty low. So yeah, next 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 chance I get, it'll be you, Axeman. Cause his C rank is lowest. Anyway! Um Yeah, that's Astral Chain. It's super freaking fun. And uh like I can't get enough of it. Like I was like, ooh, what am I gonna do today? And then I immediately started playing this game because I have issues.
hope more people pick it up because it's uh, it's really good. It's not even that long. It's not much of a time commitment. I mean, I have almost 40 hours in it. But I think only 30 of those, about, was for the main story, maybe? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for sticking around. I think I'm gonna eat some food now. I don't know, it's almost noon. I, I really do, I should... You know what, that's what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna get back to Okami, because I really, I really need to. Uh, it's been... Gosh, it's been a while. It's so noisy outside and unbearable, though. So yeah, uh, check out Astral Chain. It's good. 